right, well we heard that one of our bee bait boxes had some bees in it and we're coming to investigate. And look at this, our bee bait box that's the furthest out into the woods. Look at this. Now we just need to build a new hive, a horizontal hive back at our house. And we can get these guys moved out to the farm. All right, well, you saw the exciting news that we've got some bees. And it only took us about a year and a half to finally catch them. And we are so excited. We haven't even checked our other hives. That's two of our five. The third one was at our old house and that one didn't have anything. It actually had wasps in it. So we got that back here, but we have two more that we still need to check too. And how cool would that be if we had three or even four swarms of bees? So what we need to do today is build a hive so we can move at least one of those groups, that one that was back in the woods, was actually really loaded with bees and I think it would be perfect to start to move into a hive. The other one's just getting started. Maybe that's the perfect time to move it, I'm not sure, but we'll get that one moved in the next few weeks. But that really busy one, we wanna get that moved over here as soon as possible. So we're gonna start building a hive, but hey, we haven't shown you this garage in a little while. You wanna check it out? Come on, show them your smile. Show them your smile. Hi. Hey buddy. The last time you guys may remember us coming in this barn, it was not paved. It was a dirt floor and was always getting muddy. Well, we had it concreted a couple weeks ago. We had to do that so we could start to move stuff in here. And to move stuff in here, we had to build shelves. So you can see that we have been busy moving shelves in. We've been moving our old junk in and we're working on getting that organized so it'll be really nice and clean. You can see our incubators up here for now. We'll figure out a good place to have them at so we can actually use them. We've got our, our deep freezer with all of our chicken meat in there. And hey, last night at about 1 a.m., Becky and I were finishing up these wood shelves and we've got so much wood here. If you remember at our old place, we had piles of scrap wood just outside of the barn and it was always a challenge to find dry, clean wood and so in here now we've got it all organized and i can access this wood whenever i need i'm really excited about it what's going on uriah hey, hey. i need i need hey i need to work on a beehive you want to help me yes what's beehive a beehive where we put bees oh. and right over here one more sneak peek you guys have been asking if we're going to show some more farmhouse renovations and of course we are we've been filming that and we'll package that together in a video or two coming up soon Right over here, we've got some sliding barnwood doors that we just painted, and it'll match all of our white doors in the house, and these will be awesome. So sometime today or tomorrow, we'll get these moved in. When all you have burns to the sky, it's all too late. You we've had a few people ask us what we've been feeding our emus, and of course we get our feed from Valley Feed down in the Kansas City area. If you're in driving distance of there, be sure to go check them out. And they actually have a ratite feed just for emus and ostriches and all the other birds like that. What's going on guys? And now you can see it with the completed shade cloth. I got it all the way installed, about half the yard over here. And so in the evenings, the shade extends all the way about to the middle of the yard, which is pretty cool. And then of course they've got shade all around the house, but if you notice the path they make, it is, walk up and down this pot right here, just watching us move around the yard all day long. Of course, we do want to get them some more shade. We'll figure out some ways to get some trees in here or put up some type of temporary shade until those trees get up. What's going on, Bamboo? You like in your new spot? Mm -hmm. buddy. As much as I know we're friends, when he creeps closer to my face like this, like within pecking distance, it's a little, a little scary. Please don't peck my face. <laughs> ah! So I need to get started on my hive and what we're building is a lay-ins frame or a horizontal hive. We learned from Dr. Leo Sharashkin who is all about the horizontal hive versus the Langstroth hive you normally see 
here in America. So I'm gonna build the horizontal hive. Today or tomorrow, we'll go move those bees over here. Let's get started. All right, well we made our hive and it's, it's taken us just about all day to get this done. Let me make sure this lid fits on here. Perfect. So we've got a sweet little horizontal hive right here. The last thing I need to do is to paint it up tonight. And I'm just gonna do a basic white primer on this one just to get this one done. We might do some fun paint designs on some future ones. But this one, I just need to get it done so we can go get the bees tomorrow. All right, so we finished the box late last night and built a stand for it. It was probably about 1 a.m. or so. Uh, a little foundation for the bees to get on and then started getting the frames ready to go inside here. We like this location for our first box out here. There's a ton of, what did you say these are, hon? Blueberries or blackberries? Blackberries. And, other, and other vegetation. I think this will be a great spot to give the bees lots to do. All right, let's go get some bees. You ready? I'm ready and you may wonder, Jake, why aren't you wearing a bee suit? You're about to go pick up some bees. Well. We just went through our package that we had shipped to us and we got the hat. We didn't get the suit, so we're going to get that in a few days, but nonetheless, we got to move the bees today. So it's ill-advised to move a swarm during the day. It's better to do it in the evening or at night when they've uh, mostly in the hive because they're going to be pretty active right now. But we are getting ready to leave on a trip and we want to do this today. So we're going to do our best to make this happen. I've got the, I've got the hat. I've got gloves. I fully expect to get probably a little bit of stings on my shirt but hopefully we'll keep them pretty calm inside the hive. Wow. From Dr. Shrashkin, he advised if you spray a little bit they'll think it's raining, they might go inside. We're gonna staple on a little screen right over their opening. Oh no, they can still get in and out. Now they're just getting upset. What if you took a sock and stapled it to the front so it keep all the bees in or anything? Yeah, that would work. That's better. Like my sock that back though. Have you gotten stung yet? No, it barely, only one or two has landed on me that I've seen. You think I can carry this somehow with this? All right, well we got the swarm trap out. There are a lot of bees back there still, but hopefully we got enough of them here and the queen that they'll move over with it. So this one's the furthest one away from civilization, the back part of Becky's parents' uh, property. They've got one in the front too. And we saw, we showed you at the beginning we had this was the busiest hive, and then the one in the front is just getting started, it seemed like. So we're moving this one today, and we'll move the other one in a few weeks. So if you haven't followed our, our bee journey very long, last year, in early spring, we met Leo Sharashkin, who preaches getting bees from the wild, getting them for free. And we were on board with that, getting bees that have adapted to your climate. And so we're excited about these bees. Hopefully they can survive the winter. But either way, we'll get them back and we'll start learning how to take care of bees. We have got the, the box home here, but wait till you see that they are swarming all outside of this box. So I hope we get enough of these bees moved over here. All right, now I'm gonna carry the hive over to there and then I'll take the camera so you don't have to get close and I'll keep the camera by me. All right, we're gonna start opening up the box and moving over the frames and hopefully these bees will go over. I'm sure they're gonna get really mad now, so we'll see how this goes. Look at these bees at work. I can only face to the bees, that's all. Wow, look at all these bees. Whoa, look at that. Oh. It's 
fallen off the foundation, but that's crazy. Whoa. Yeah, all the honeys are in there still. There are a lot. Wow. Wow. Crazy. Oh, you had some extra. Wow, that's a lot. This is just crazy. All the building they've done in here. Yes. Yeah. It smells like coming too. There's like thousands. Yeah. Here's the biggest frame and it's all going to fall apart. It's all falling apart as I move it. It's like going to be a big blob in there. I'm going to try to get it organized. It's a mess. Oh, this is a mess. I don't know what they're going to do with this. I don't know if that's their food or if that's... Uh, I see down there like pupa. Where they're working on bees. I guess see like... That's all you want to put in. For now. I don't know what else to do for them. I wish you could knock all those bees in there. Yeah, we're going to have to knock the bees in. Mm -hmm. He said to knock them out of the box. It said knock it out onto plywood. Okay. So I'm not sure exactly what to do here, but we're going to try to knock these bees out into this new hive. All right, well, we're getting ready to close this lid. No, not yet. I'm getting honey. Okay, we got a little honey. This is a mess. We definitely <laughs> made some mistakes with this one. It all fell off the foundations. Hopefully, they can work with it here and figure it out. We'll come back with some better frames. These frames don't fit my box, and so it's a little bit of a challenge to get them right in, but they also fell off the foundations. But at least we got the bees moved over, and there's thousands of bee hairs. And there's there's a bee on my face right now. Oh my gosh. My face is just itching and there's a bee on it. Oh, it's just driving me crazy. Okay, that one just stung my arm. Ow, ow, ow. All right, well, how do we do, Eli? Good. Good, we got the bees moved over, oh my gosh. There's thousands of bees and so much honey and all kinds of stuff in there. Yeah, I think- I think I just fell stung. No, you didn't get stung, you got a suit on. Well, I think I only got stung twice, one on the back of my leg and one on my arm just now, hurts a little bit. I've had them inside the mask and they haven't, they haven't stung me, but that's a little freaky. Thanks for following along. I'm sure we made a ton of mistakes, bee. Be people, please be kind in the comments, but you can also give us some advice if we have any way we can save this uh, and get some, get some more new frames in there that fit this box. So we're looking forward to this bee adventure. We'll see you guys next time. <laughs>